in order to in order to retain some of the balance that was perhaps lost, it uh, for a government to go to a multi-stakeholder body or a multi-stakeholder standards organization, that's much more difficult for them than going to the traditional organizations that they've always gone to when they needed help or when they needed to uh, when they needed to retain balance. The places like the UN, where it's one country, one vote. The rules are very straightforward, at least to those who have partic who participate in them, and they know how that works, and they have advocates in the within the UN structure itself. Whereas when you show up to a standards body, I don't know how many people have, have gone to the, an IETF meeting or an ISO meeting, it's very intimidating to a government official to show up to one of those meetings. You have um, people just walking up to microphones and talking and, and you know, kind of ripping at each other's ideas in a very academic way. Um, there's no thank you, Mr. Chairman. There's no proposals that you release that you submit um, formally. They don't have to, there's no consultation with a group of stakeholders. There's no formal talking points. And that's very intimidating. And, uh, and also, not to mention, for a government official to go stand behind a, you know, internet user with wearing a aloha shirt and flip-flops is is not it, it again is not a is not something that they're particularly comfortable with